So today is all about actually client work. It's about uh, reflection. It's about accountability. That's what Mondays are usually focused on for a week ahead. That's really productive. Every Monday I'm in there looking at the accountability. These, this is mine, of course. So looking at my objectives, uh, my three core objectives, I'm working on this quarter, the things that matter most. Cause once again, we talked about having accountability. Um, we also talk about having a focus on what matters most. So my client growth and renewal, ever present brand awareness and business success are the three things that matter most. And then how I'm tracking and measuring those things. Uh, and then every week I'm able then to go in and look at, okay, what were the things I was supposed to have gotten done? The important things I got done last week. So finish the webinar, which was done, which is fantastic. And then I have to think about what was that aligned to? Um, and so that webinar is there is about uh, lead generation. Um, did I get the landing page done? No, I did not. Um, so anything else that I got done that was important there, I'll go to my calendar. Uh, and then I'll transfer that over to here. And then I'll look at what my priorities are for the week ahead. This is the same process I take all my clients through, then conduct a summary and uh, make sure that all my clients, they have the same platform that I use to make sure that they're achieving what they said they do. So one of the things I really am a firm believer about is that you must be a product of your own product. If you're not willing to do what you're asking your clients to do, why the heck should they? So what's got all the accountability bits and pieces done today? Uh, my main focus today is on the webinar. So as you can see here, I've got the uh, webinar launching today. So just getting all that finalized to drive a lot of value to people on how to evolve their business to stay relevant in the hearts and minds of the people that they choose to serve. Um, the calendar wise had a very big epic Monday uh, content creation this morning, did a lot of stuff on LinkedIn, also a video for the Business Evolution Summit, then had a call with Sheil Shivgani. Sheil and I and Carmen Braidwood are running a big event together on uh, March 18th. And uh, that is in Perth. And that's a big event about what if, what if you actually made this choice or what if you made that choice, a real authentic, vulnerable display of some of the life choices that we've made that have given us momentum in our lives. Uh, so we've got a uh, big call about that, which we've had and now just finalizing the webinar. And then later today, I'll be setting up all the new objectives for the next 90 days for this first quarter for all my clients into their accountability platform. All their accountability and stuff's been done. Now it's a matter of setting up their goals for the next quarter for them and their teams. Part of my own uh, evolution as a leader is making sure that my health and well-being is number one priority. So uh, off to the gym now. Got to catch up with uh, Dale. Looking forward to seeing him. It's been a couple of weeks. As much as he's probably going to kick my ass today. He's also got a new program for me uh, to help with me on my next phase of uh, my fat burn. So we'll have a catch up with him and see what he's got to say. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> so coach, what do we got on today? Legs. Um, Legs. No, 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 no. I'm out of here. See you later. So this is the Evolution of Business show, my new Evolution of Business TV show. Okay, yeah, speaking yeah. of the microphone. Okay. <laughs> Actually, what we can do for this, this will make wonderful outtakes, is we can hold this here, you can hold that. You can be like the uh, microphone holder. Um, don't need to hold that close. So, yeah, yeah. so personal evolution, leadership, uh, evolving yourself to evolve your business, health. Why are you making me do what I need to do? <laughs> to go next level. No, I guess, yeah, what we want to do is we want to make sure that you can be the best version of yourself. And yep. the way to do that is to make sure that the body is in tip-top shape. Yep. Because as soon as the body goes downhill, the energy goes downhill, the focus goes downhill, the business goes downhill, all the people that can reap the benefits of you being the best version of you, they get missed out on. So, so being the best version of yourself isn't just a mindset thing, it's also obviously the physical the body that well, carries the brain, the heart, everything. Fine. Yeah. So, it's all, all integrated, so right? Physiology feeds the state, the state feeds the physiology. Coming to see the King of Darty himself, Yo. Mr. Aiden Parker. How are you, mate? I'm good. Just uh, yes, welcome to the uh, mate. Welcome to uh, the first episode of uh, Evolution of Business TV show. Mate, give us a pearl of wisdom. But how do we add value? By removing things that don't. We add value by removing things that don't. Genius gold right there. Well, it's another stunning day here in Perth, WA. Uh, just getting ready to head into the city to visit clients. Going to jump in the uh, in the car. I'm going to go see our financial planning clients that we have and looking at their strategy for the next 90 days for their business. So one of the things that happens uh, every quarter with my clients is a quarterly intensive, which is sitting down and reflecting on what's happened in the last 90 days in terms of the objectives and key results that they were looking to achieve and then mapping out the next 90 days in terms of what it is they need to focus on going forward. So every quarter there's an intense focus on three core objectives and three metrics max with each of those objectives. 
uh, making sure that they're continuing to evolve their business to stay relevant in the hearts and minds of the people that they choose to serve. And in order to do that, is looking at your objectives every quarter. Uh, just got off the phone with Jim Kelly from King's Transportation. Really excited because Jim is one of the speakers at our um, Business Evolution Summit that's coming up on January 22nd. And uh, really talking to him about his presentation and the impact of that. Also just got off the phone from uh, Stuart Katanach, who's also speaking at the event to get an update from him and let him know that we've now had 27 people register in the first three days of announcing the summit and uh, with the capacity of 30. So I'm now going to have to expand the facility that we're using to double the room space so we can open up for another 30 people. And Stuart's going to be launching a, a video to share about that as well. So pretty excited about the feedback and response already for the summit and having Jim Stewart and also Brett Piggott from Willis Tembe Insurance Brokers, another client of mine speaking at that event as well, has obviously uh, created some great appeal in the marketplace uh, as we begin January 2020. I've got another call coming up in a very few minutes uh, from Cat Matthews at Inspiring Rare Birds. I'm also a mentor for um, Inspiring Rare Birds, which is mentoring female entrepreneurs and business leaders. And, and so looking forward to seeing how I can contribute to them this year in 2020. So we're about to take that phone call. So I better get off this video um, so I can do that. So one of the other uh, one of the other things that I'm involved in is I'm the uh, ambassador for the Pacific region for the Global Company Culture Association. Uh, and uh, one of the things I'm challenged with this year is to build a council of uh, 12 across the Pacific region. A good friend of mine who I'm really keen to have him join the association or the, obviously my council for the Pacific region and uh, Brad Relat from Leadership Gold, an amazing gentleman. Uh, nothing but uh, been a great supporter of mine but also a great supporter of culture and creating an evolution at work. So uh, making sure that I get that up and running this year as well. But in total alignment, uh, everything I do is about the evolution of business, evolution of leadership, to stay relevant in the hearts and minds of the people that we choose to serve. Can you imagine if we can get all the greatest, biggest, brightest minds uh, that are passionate about creating an evolution at work together, uh, what we could do to uh, create more meaningful work and lives for people. Very productive afternoon so far, looking at the Business Evolution Summit primarily, because uh, that's on January 22nd. I've also got a relaxed selling training workshop and productivity workshop happening on the 21st, the day before. Um, both of those are starting to sell tickets, which is great. Also had a lot of um, emails that I've been responding to this afternoon in the calendar and uh, catching up with some clients, made to book some appointments for some follow-up sessions for other clients and uh, book some new sales leads uh, appointments from people that I've done a little bit of work with in the past and supported who've reached out to me asking me if I can do some more work to help. One of the cool things though that was uh, come out of a discussion today was looking at um, you know, our purpose, our values, vision, mission, etc. And in a purpose statement that the clients had been working on, they had their, their purpose written down and it said for our clients. Now, you know, I get it. You know, your purpose is the problem you're most passionate about solving in your world for those people, your customers. If your purpose doesn't serve your customers, then it's not your purpose. Um, but you don't really need to write for our customers, for our clients or whatever in the purpose statement. Because really ultimately, your purpose then should be able to be applied to all stakeholders in your business. So if I serve my employees, they serve our customers, we need to make sure then that our purpose statement is reflective of that and no different for our values or anything else as well. Anyway, so that was just some really cool conversations that we're having today with a potential client, uh, which then after asked me to give my feedback on it, then asked me to sit down with him and, and have a meeting and look at his business going forward over the next 12 months in terms of building their strategy out for three years and so on. The challenges of working in the home office is this. Come on, come on, up you come. Getting my little visitor who comes to see me. Hmm? <laughs> anyway, enough of distractions. Got to get back at it. Up and at it early this morning. Every Thursday morning is about uh, heading into the city. Uh, off to Sayers for a breakfast group with a bunch of young uh, millennials. Keep me young at heart. Keep this old dog young. Uh, it's really great to sit with these alchemists who are turning lead into gold. Uh, you know, today you look at, it, you know, one in five businesses in Australia is already run by digital savvy millennials. So sitting down and having breakfast, breakfast with them every morning is a pretty cool thing. Plants would seem to make a modest difference at best. Why do small improvements accumulate into such remarkable results? And how can you replicate this approach in your own life? 
just here at Edith Cowan University. Uh, do a lot of work with the, uh, some of the divisions and departments here on their strategy planning. Uh, meeting with customer strategy and planning today as a department and looking at their uh, model business canvas and the work that we did leading up to Christmas. So looking forward to catching up with Caroline and the team here uh, in the offices. So let's go in and see how they're going. So just to finish up on uh, the follow-up of the strategy session here at ECU with CSP, which was really cool because we started talking about the importance of uh, execution and execution requiring four things, which is focus, accountability, simplicity, and transparency. And when you build uh, a system built on those four things, you get fast execution. I finished my morning uh, routine as usual uh, in the office, just getting ready to head out. Days like today are the ones that I love the best. Why? Because on a day like today, I'm actually going golfing at uh, Mount Lolly Golf Club. I met up with somebody uh, a few weeks before Christmas at a round of golf and uh, we've connected and uh, we're catching up today for another round of golf. Mark Sinclair, he does a lot of work in the customer experience, customer impact fields. I'm always a firm believer that I'm really interested in my customers' customers. And so something that I would challenge all of you on is, you know, how intimately do you understand your customers' customers? Uh, so just uh, checking out the rest of the day and a bunch of content to create later on today. Uh, so today's a little bit of a lighter day, um, actually getting a bit of client work done and some content pumped out. But first, we golf. Uh, oh, mate, it's fantastic. It's, what, what a great way to do business, eh? <laughs> At the end of the day, the most important thing is to analyze results, be able yep. to do that easily and take action as a result of it. Oh, look at that, hit the pin. <laughs> I think it almost hit the pin. <laughs> so here's the result of that shot. So we offer survey templates around uh, employee type surveys or leadership surveys or board surveys, so organisational type surveys. Mm -hmm. And you can also do customer surveys like Net Promoter Score, um, yeah. customer feedback. Oh, <laughs> exciting. Yeah. Uh, that so I guess gives a lot me, of flexibility in terms of really looking to create that auto poetic, you know, elegant, self-sustaining systems for my organization, but for my clients. And uh, as I do the engagement survey, usually at least the very beginning of every engagement with every client, do an engagement survey, and then either six months or twelve months or annually, we'll do it to check their progress and everything like that. So I'd like to be able to do that so they can compare their results, but I'd also like to be able to start to collate the demographics so I can say, like that, you know, executives between here and here in this type of ministry, this is usually the, the average engagement score and da da da, so I can start doing some benchmarking. So just popping in here to see uh, Will and the team at Spot On Print. Uh, they do all my printing for everything. Uh, for the summit coming up, I need to get a bunch of model business canvases printed out. I'm going to need some workbooks done too. So I'm going to go talk to Will uh, and get all that started and prepared because the event's two weeks from now, but need to get everything underway now. Um, yeah, because I've got the Business Evolution Summit coming up, and I wanted certainly a backdrop for that, but also for stage stuff, you said, so you can get like the three meter and a six meter, right? Yeah, yeah, so it all collapses down, then yep. you can get single or double side. All right, cool. So, yeah, definitely, if you can send me some pricing on those ones. Yeah. Uh, because we've got the summit coming up, of course, as you know, I'll need the, um, you know, the big A1 model business canvas. Yeah. The, those ones. So I'll get yeah. ones that are just samples. So yeah. I always, so I can, because always I, I'm taking mine, so I'm going to get a whole bunch done pre okay. up so I can stick samples up on the wall. I've got a productivity workshop on the day before and a relaxed selling, so those workbooks, nice. so I'll send you those. Um, and then I'll need the actual, also I'll to be the workbooks that will be coming, but I'll, I'll, I'll send you those. So I've got to tweak those and change okay. those because we've got new speakers and... Perfect. All right. Thanks, no man. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks, buddy. Thanks a lot. It's so important to uh, find a... Uh, partner, strategic partner that uh, can meet your demands. Uh, normally I dump things on Will and the team at a very short notice, so this is really cool, giving them a two weeks heads up. So, uh, you know, find that great strategic partner, uh, supplier. Uh, in, in the end, as I say to uh, all my clients, when you look at things from a customer service, customer experience point of view, you know, like how many times do you see people say, oh, you know, sorry, my supplier let me down, or, you know, yeah, you know what it's like when your suppliers don't, you know, they're not there, they can't back you. And I'm like, well, you know what? My business is there to help solve problems for my customers, not to give them my problems. So if one of my suppliers lets me down, that's my problem, not my client's problem. And so it's really important to understand if your suppliers are letting you down, then you need to find new suppliers. And Will and the team have been phenomenal and, and uh, backing and supporting me in every event that I do. And they've never let me down. So 
Thanks to Will and the team at Spot On, it's been fantastic. It's been a fairly casual week this week in terms of uh, my dress standard. T-shirt and jeans, not how I would normally dress to every meeting that I would go to, but this week it's been pretty cool just to be a bit more relaxed and casual. Uh, Saturday morning, heading now off to Willis Tembe Insurance Brokers, uh, and uh, we're looking at their strategy planning, so their quarterly intensive for the next 90 days. Uh, just finishing off uh, their strategy and they're expanding into more of their teams through the accountability platform so should be a pretty exciting morning and uh getting ready to head up there so got trusty backpack let's go